Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Life with Anya Marie. Today I'm doing something totally different. I'm busy getting done and I'm going to have a chat with you guys. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to tell you guys what the importance is of having some me time. It is okay to leave everything you're doing, to leave whatever dirt or <laughs> untidiness is in your house and just pause for a moment and reflect and get yourself back together. So I want to tell you guys a story. Um, we were going to go away this weekend from yesterday, yeah, from yesterday until Saturday um, to go to visit my in-laws and family and friends and um, just go and have some fun on the farm and breathe. And unfortunately, something happened that we, we couldn't go anymore. Um, at my husband's work, he had to unfortunately work those days. He couldn't get off anymore. And when he found me to tell me, I literally started crying. <laughs> and I didn't know why. I, I was like, what the heck is going on with me? Okay, so here's what happened. I was busy doing exercise in the room in the morning, that morning that he, he was going to tell me, listen, we can't go anymore. And I was squatting. And for some reason, I apparently can't do a squat right. And my husband is very hectic on posture and how you dip and whatnot. So he thought upon himself to come and show me how to do a squat right. And I got so um, offensive because I was like, it's a squat! Who can't do a squat right? <laughs> and I really got literally upset, not at him, but I think more in my head I was like, how silly must the person be to not be able to do a squat properly? So we had a bit of an argument and he left and I felt so bad and I started crying and then when he got to work he phoned me and he was like, oh we can't go away anymore because I have to work. And I was so depressed. I literally felt like, oh well, let's just give up on life then. Because I was looking so forward to this weekend away. And for probably about two hours, I was just sitting and moping and doing my work, but not doing my best. And something just clicked in me. And I asked myself, hold on. <laughs> this is not how you usually are. Stuff happens and you say, okay, well, what am I going to take out of this? Or how am I going to, you know, do something positive about this and whatnot? So I immediately asked myself, what's really going on here? Why did I freak out on my husband this morning about something so silly? And why am I feeling so down about it now that we can't go away? Because we will be able to go, you know, again in the future. So it's not like I'm never going to have this opportunity. And then I realized... I am at breaking point. I am busy having a mental breakdown because for the past few weeks I have been, I'm a photographer and I have been on shoots, I have been doing weddings and births and just going and running and never really resting and then I've got church and I've got band and I've got all of these things in between that we're doing and obviously I'm a mom and I'm cleaning the house and there's like ah so much stuff happening and I realized that if I don't take a moment right now to just gather myself together and spend time with me, I might not make it. <laughs> and here's the secret. If you don't have yourself together and you don't have peace within yourself and rest and breathe, then you're not going to be able to give your best to the people around you or to your work or if you're a mom to your child. And I realized that I need to make time for me. So I told myself, okay, yes, I'm going to be home now. And yes, I have a lot of work to do. But I wouldn't have done that work um, if I went to the farm. And I wouldn't have done washing. And I wouldn't have cleaned the house or um, necessarily made massive suppers and stuff like that. Um, so I'm not going to do that right now. So I told myself for the next two days, no matter what happens around me or what is needed to be done or how many emails I get, I would not have been here and I'm not going to be here right now. <laughs> and immediately I was like, oh, but I can't do that and whatnot. And I just got this story in my head. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the story and it just, 
the story came out so differently for me when I thought about it at that moment. So the story that I thought of was um, the Bible story with Martha and Mar Mary, Maria, <laughs> with Martha and Mary when Jesus came to visit them at the house. Martha was cleaning the house and tidying up and making sure that everything basically looks great for Jesus, you know? Um, and that's so typically how I am. If people come to visit and I know someone's coming, I scatter in this house and I clean everything and whatnot. And they mostly don't even care probably that there is one dirty dish in the, in the wash or um, that the pillows are on the floor because my child was playing, etc. And what Mary did is she went to sit by Jesus' feet to just be with him and to just listen to him and breathe and relax. And um, Martha got upset because she was like, hey girl, I'm doing all the work here and you're sitting there. And she actually asked Jesus to reprimand her and tell her to come and help her to clean. And you know what Jesus said? Mary is doing the best thing right now that she could ever possibly do and that is to sit by my feet okay so i know spending time with myself is not necessarily sitting by jesus's feet but i did spend time with god yesterday morning a long time with god <laughs> where i um just sat and listened to worship music and reflected and just you know got some peace in my in my heart and then for the rest of the day, I baked muffins, I watched a movie, I did my nails by myself, yes. Um, and today I'm taking another day off. So as you can see, I'm busy dolling myself up and I'm going to go just have a fun, relaxing day with my mom. Um, so what I'm trying to say through this is that even Jesus said, it's so necessary to just sit down sometimes and breathe and relax and find yourself and if that is by spending time with him or if that is by baking muffins or just relaxing that is okay the point is that if you aren't gonna look after yourself and make time for yourself which is what you need it's so needed then you're not going to be able to give your best to the people around you. You're not going to do your best at work. You're not going to be the best mom or wife or husband or father that you need to be, that you can be, because you're losing yourself. So, if you are overreacting or if someone around you that you know doesn't usually react the way, you know, they are reacting, um then ask yourself okay whoa is is this person maybe a bit overwhelmed is this person maybe stressed out or just tired because you know what life is so busy we put so much stuff ahead of ourselves um instead of looking after ourselves we say yes to so many things instead of going hold on have I spent time with myself this week? Have I done something this week that I enjoy? Whether it's reading a book or sitting down and watching a movie. And yes, I know time, life is busy. I know that stuff needs to get done. But you are more important than another bundle of washing. And you are more important than that deadline. I, um, I am fortunate enough to, to work from home and to work for myself. But I mean, I've, I've got deadlines. I've got people emailing me on a daily basis saying, Hey, thanks for the shoot yesterday. When can I get my photos? That's literally how, how people are. Oh, it's raining. And the sun is like shining and it's raining right now. That is amazing. Um, but I just made a rule for myself because I can and, and everyone can. Is that four o'clock every single day, I switch my laptop off and I go fetch my daughter and I'm done working because if I worked at an office that is what would have happened <laughs> I would have switched off my computer and I would have gone home and the next day I go on and I don't know why people don't respect that but you know what you need to respect that for yourself you need to make that rule that every day at this time I'm done with my phone I'm done answering emails and messages I'm done working and Yes, you might have a ton of work the next day, but you will be refreshed and you will be at peace and happy and 
it will be okay. And as soon as you get into that flow and people start realizing, hey, I need my time, girl or boy, <laughs> then things are going to start getting better. So if you are overwhelmed, if you are feeling a bit exhausted and like you just need a break, take it because it's okay. And you may, you are allowed to do that. I encourage you, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with someone that you feel maybe needs this encouragement and take the time that you need to find yourself to be a better you. Have a great day, everyone. Bye! Hi, guys. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the end result of my hair since I kind of got finished with my story before my hair was done, which is a miracle, by the way. Anyway, so I basically just rough curled my whole head and then I decided I don't want my hair in my face today. It's it's a bit hot outside and raining. It's weird. Um, so I basically just did a little plait. Uh, it's called a Dutch plait. So it's an inside out plait. I'll try and show you guys how I do that sometime. And then I just made a, a rough little bun at the top. And I left the rest of my hair all curly. So that is my look for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a fab day. Bye.